Hello there. Viewer discretion is advised that we do not own these characters. We only own the rights to our own voices and nothing else. These characters belong to someone that I will add them in the description. Anyways, if there is some audio problems, it's because we did this in the middle of the night with basically no good <laughs> sound quality. So anyways, I hope you enjoy the video and the work that me and my friends put into it. If you have any questions, please talk in the description. Chocolate Girl asked, Hey, I would die for Barnaby. Now, uh, what do you suppose die is? While we used? Oh, I think that's from a board game. They'd sing they like to throw dice with you, Barnaby. Billy exclaimed. Uh, sorry, little buddies, but, uh, I know what they're really after. A little tie-dye. Oh. Stewie said. I don't get it. Wally mumbled. A friendly neighbor said, So, Frank, what's it like living in the neighborhood? Well, to be quite frank, it's all a bit too ridiculous. Very fun, too. Julie chimed in. Perhaps I should say quaint. Or exciting. Never too quiet. So ridiculous. Uh, Julie, serendip serendipitous, and excuse me, but they were asking me the question? Yes, I know that. But you're leaving out all the best parts. As your neighbor, I know exactly what those are. So what, pray tell, do those happen to be? Well, let's start off with the most important ones. First off is Barnaby's funny new looking hat. That's not a new hat! That's just his old hat with a tin can taped to it! If anything, this makes everything worse! I think it's amazing. Oh, I can't trust your judgment. A me neighbor asks, What would happen if you were to smooch Barnaby? Asking for a friend. Well, a lot of bad things. You could get fur in your mouth, poke your eye out on his nose, or even get a sprained lips. What if he had bad breath? What if you had bad breath? Could you imagine? I can imagine, and I don't like it. Don't forget, I might even have a case of fleas. <laughs> fleas? No! So, uh, what's the deal with airplane food, huh? Well, uh, dry air and a high decibel level in the cabin interfere with how we perceive food. It turns off our sweet tooth and we lose the ability to taste salty and sweet meals. Barnaby, what's an airplane? And what does it like to eat? Ugh, oh, everyone's a critic. Barnaby, we need to get down to business. We need pencil pushers. We need pushers to push those pencils. We need a big board for the big board meeting about the big boards. And this paragraph is supposed to be blueberry, not strawberry. Now, hold on there, Julie. I'm so confused, I don't know whether to s scratch my watch or wind my head. Well, I'm sorry, but this is important. 